What's up guys, Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. It is Sunday, so it is time for another video, and it was of course time to get Asher out of the cage because we needed to clean it. Because this chinchilla is filthy and wild inside of that cage at all times, that she has more energy than my previous chinchilla did. She is all over the place. But guys, in today's video, what I want to cover are eight essential care tips for your chinchilla. These are gonna be kind of eight tips. She's gonna get out. And in today's video, guys, what I wanna cover is eight essential, she's eating the treats right out of my pocket, is eight essential care tips for your chinchilla. This is kind of a compiled list of some of the things that I think are the most important for you to keep in mind for your chinchilla, and we're starting right now. All right guys, before we dive in, make sure that if you're not subscribed to the channel and you enjoy useful content about chinchillas or just have fun watching videos about them that you subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every Tuesday and Sunday when the new videos come out and always give us a thumbs up on these videos. It helps us out immensely with the YouTube algorithm and I'm asking you to, so that would be a great gesture in return for the time it makes to make these videos. And of course, never forget to head over to planetchinchilla.com. URL is displaying across the bottom of the screen. And for now, let's go ahead and dive into those eight essential care tips that you should know if you just adopted or plan to adopt a chinchilla soon. I'm sitting on my lap, trying to get out, cause I'm sick of the, God, you're pooping all over me, man. Do you ever stop pooping? Get off my back, fool. All right, guys, so for those of you who have been a subscriber for a while and you feel like this might be a little bit of a repeat of a video, I apologize. I am trying to come up with new ideas all the time and of course, give you guys, she's literally on top of the camera lens, so stand by for, okay, she's eating the microphone. Are you kidding me right now? She's sitting on the microphone. I cannot wait to edit this audio. This is, so now she's on the light. She might be pooping on the mic. All right, get out, seriously. Anyways, I apologize that this seems like a repeat. What you guys have to keep in mind if you've been subscribers is not everybody here was a subscriber when I made the previous videos. And shockingly enough, not everybody watches every video on a YouTube channel. So every now and then you do have to do some repeating to make sure all the new subscribers get some information too. So let's kick it off with tip number one, which is you need a good cage. No plastic, no small cages. Big cage, nice cage. It's basically a requirement. If you have a small one now and it's been working for you, hats off to you, but you should probably still upgrade. I don't care which one you get. You could go with the Ferret Nation, which is kind of the same thing as the Critter Nation 2. Dual level, that's the minimum size I would go with. Guys, these chinchillas need plenty of space to roam around, jump around. You need ledges, you need accessories. I mean, you can see how much she's all over the place right now. Or there's other great options, guys. There's cheaper options. There's ones like the Preview Hendrix, which has been around for quite a while. That's, you know, like 150 bucks instead of like 220. There are good options out there, but start with a big cage. Give these guys tons of space. Make it cool and interactive. Have plenty of accessories, etc. I will link my specific cage down below and a few of the other ones that are more budget friendly that I also think would be good cages. But put that at the top of your priority list because it is important. Which leads me into number two, guys, which is that cage that you buy needs to be in a room that is at proper temperatures. It's not really rocket science to figure out the proper temperatures. It's basically what most households are probably already at. You need to be in about the 65 to 73 degree range. 75 is pushing it, so you do need climate controlled environment with relatively low humidity. So a dehumidifier is always a good benefit. I personally keep my chinchilla in a room kind of off of our kitchen, kind of near a back door. So sometimes she'll get a little bit of a draft of that air when it opens. But besides that, it's just your basic AC unit, keeping her cool by circulating through the house at about 68, 69 degrees in that range. But in order to provide proper care and your chinchilla not to die, sorry if that sounds a little bit blunt, but that's the truth, you need proper temperature. So that is tip number two. And now let's dive into number three. Number three is don't feed your chinchilla paper. I'm just kidding. She was eating the notes right off of, let's move on. All right, number three guys, to be caring for your chinchilla in the best possible fashion, would you stop eating my paper? Number three guys, to be caring for your chinchilla in the best possible fashion is you need to have a proofed area for playtime. 
whether that's a playpen like I'm using right here. This is the Jess Pet playpen. Or you proof a room by, you know, making sure there's nothing dangerous they can eat, no escape points where they could get lost throughout the house. Doesn't matter how you do it, you just need to do it. So, so far we've covered three, proper cage, proper temperatures, proper playroom. Kind of got a theme going on now. All right guys, number four is you need to be sure that you're providing the correct diet for these guys. And this goes deeper than making sure that you provide Timothy hay and pellets. Yes, those are their primary needs for these guys, are the Timothy hay and pellets and of course water. But you also need to make sure that you're only offering treats that are safe. So no fresh veggies, no fresh fruits, basically no water-based anything for them. It will wreck their digestive tracts and cause issues. But if you stick to Timothy hay and pellets, you're gonna be okay for the most part and have nothing to worry about. So that is the next tip is proper diets. Do your research, make sure you're comfortable with what you need to be giving them. I personally just use the Oxbow Timothy Hay and the Oxbow Essentials Timothy Hay pellets. No issues. Works great. That's what I'd recommend for you as well. Alright guys, another essential tip is you need to make sure that your chinchilla always has fresh water available to them. So it doesn't matter really how you go about doing this. I personally just use two large water bottles that I attach to the cage at all times. I think she found some treats in my pocket. But it doesn't, that part is irrelevant. Get a couple water bottles, attach them to the cage. They attach super easy. But these guys need an unlimited water supply. They need to be able to get it when they want it without any restriction. So water is very important. And then that moves me into accessories for the cage. You need a lot of them. You don't want this huge cage with nothing but the tray liners. A, that's boring for you, and B, that's boring for the chinchilla. Plenty of ledges, plenty of you know hanging toys, hammocks are okay, tunnels, things like that. As long as they're safe and they're not plastic, you're in great shape. But make sure you dress up the cage with a ton of accessories and make it fun for them. Have fun doing it while you're doing it too, but make sure you do it. Which leads me into my favorite accessory of them all and potentially the most needed accessory of them all is you need to make sure you have a hut hideout or a nesting box, whatever you prefer to call it. I don't care what you call it. I call it a hut hideout. I think in my blog post about it, I call it a nesting box though, so I go back and forth, but you need one. You need somewhere where your chinchilla can feel safe. A lot of the times they will sleep inside of that nesting box. It makes them have somewhere they can go if they're stressed out, like if an outside noise or any kind of stimulus is freaking them out a little bit. That's where you'll typically see them run to. So make sure that you provide that as well for them. It is very important. And my last tip of the day, guys, or care essential number eight, is make sure that you are just providing some time to get them out of the cage. We talked about this in a ton of the videos. Nothing more fancy and nothing more entailed than what I'm doing right now with her, even though she's taking her treats at will out of my pocket. But get your chinchilla out of the cage. Spend some time with them in a safe area. Make sure they're getting some kind of interaction or social activity just to keep them upbeat, bonding with you, letting that relationship grow. It's completely worth it. It's a lot of fun once they start actually warming up to you. In the beginning, it can be a little stressful because they really don't want you to touch them too much whenever it's a brand new chinchilla you just brought home. They can be timid, they can be shy, but that does get so much better. So just make sure you put in the time, put in a little effort, and it'll get much better, I promise. Now is your turn to drop down in the comments some of the things that you think are absolutely necessary for a chinchilla to be happy, to thrive, to have a good life, and some of the essential care items you think should have been in this video. Drop those comments below, guys. Of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to do that. Asher and I greatly appreciate it when you guys do that. Give us a thumbs up on the video because when you do do that, it helps us grow. It helps us get shown in front of all of the other chinchilla owners out there. And of course, hit the notification button so you're notified every Tuesday and Sunday when the new videos come out. And then the URL going across the bottom of the screen, guys, that is planetchinchilla.com. That is a blog site for this YouTube channel. About 200 blog posts on that website that are useful. You could probably type any question you can think of into the search bar and we will have an answer for you. So 
go ahead and just take that URL you see displaying at the bottom, punch it into your web address and go visit it because that also helps us out. And never forget to check out the ebook which is in the menu bar of planetchinchilla.com. It's under ebook downloads. For all the YouTube viewers and subscribers, you can use promo code CHINCARE50, C-H-I-N-C-A-R-E-5-0, at checkout for 50% off. Otherwise, guys, we appreciate you stopping by and watching today, and we will catch you guys on Tuesday. Happy holidays, and take care. Asher, say bye. You want a treat first? Then you can say bye. Let's get a treat. Let's get a rose hit. Come on. You were always hit. Where'd you go? Did you escape? Asher. Oh, Rose hit. Yeah, get it.